Hi everybody. So this is Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy and I saw this card and thought it was really cute. Jessica with Stamp of Blessing made this card on her Monday video and um, I wanted to share it with you. So it opens up like this. Isn't that cute? But then you can also make it into a stand-up card like that. Look how cute that is. Wouldn't you love to get that in the mail? I would. So I, let me show you how, how, we, how I made it. So um, let's do the card pieces first. So I have a piece of thick whisper white here that is eight and a half by four and a fourth, and it's scored at four and a fourth. And then I have two old olive squares that are four inch. I have two of the Best Dressed Designer Series paper. These are three and three fourths inch. I have a three inch square of Whisper White and then a three and an eighth inch square of Old Olive that is just an eighth inch bigger than that white. We'll layer that on there. So um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our large Old Olive square. So this is the square that's four inches and I'm going to bring my paper trimmer in. I'm gonna line up corner and I hope you can see corner to corner and line it up with that groove that you put your paper trimmer through and we're gonna cut that diagonally in half, like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the Best Dressed Designer Series paper. We're gonna line that just with one of the sheets, not with both of them. Line up the corners with those grooves and now I moved it, let me do it again like that. And then cut it diagonal in half, okay? And then before we put our paper trimmer away, we're gonna take in our card base. This is the Thick Whisper White, right? And we're gonna figure out, and I wanna make sure I score it the right way, because if you score it the wrong way, your card doesn't open right. So our card's gonna open this way. We wanna score it from this down to the fold. So from the corner, the outside corner, down to the fold. I'm gonna lay that. First, let me get rid of my cutting blade and bring in my um, scoring blade but I'm gonna lay the corner here in the groove and the fold down here in the groove. And I'm going to score that on that thick whisper white. So then when you look at your card, right? And you fold this down, this is what your card base is gonna look like. Let me get my bone folder here and we'll get some crisp folds. So I hope that makes sense that it looks like that. And I have a little brown on my card. Let me see if I can erase. Nope, I don't know what that is. Okay, good enough, right? So then we take these pieces and I'm going to adhere the designer series paper to the old olive and I'm gonna just use a little bit of liquid glue and that way I can get in these corners here. And adhere that down with just that little bitty border on that one and on this one And I think while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere. Now I'm gonna use this for the inside of my card, the lovely lipstick with the little lipsticks on there. So I'm gonna make sure I put glue on the bottom or on the flowers here and go ahead and attach that to the old olive green, the large square that we did not cut in half. And then we might as well go ahead and put this on our card base here. There's our inside. And then put our triangles on the top here. Now, if you decide to make this card, this print doesn't matter which way the cardstock goes, or the designer series papers, but you have to make sure if you have a, a right side or, or like an upside down, you have to make sure you cut your designer series paper so that your pattern fits how your card is designed. I hope that makes sense. If not, uh, 
You can, you can call and ask me or something. Sometimes I don't make any sense, but I don't think I make sense and other people tell me, no, I get it. So hopefully you're one of the I gets it. Okay, so there's the front of our card. Now see now right there, isn't that pretty just by itself? Love this designer series paper, which is retiring at the end of May, maybe beginning of June. But okay, I'm gonna set this aside for now. And let's, um, so the paper pumpkin this kit was called My Wonderful Family and it's April 2020. And these are the cards that the kit was designed to make, which are fantastic by themselves. But then we're going to pull out this stamp right here. Oh, and you know, I got ahead of myself. Before we do that, let's go ahead. I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus because we're going to use um, black. And I want to make sure I get a good image. So where's my stamp set? My stamp set's right here. It's um, Beautiful You, which is also on the retired list. But I'm going to bring in her and my small piece of um, Whisper White, which is the three by three square, and put this down here. Now I want her about at the top. It looks like I want her hand a little bit angled so the hand is up, gets her waist a little bit better, I guess. I don't know what the word is for that either. But um, So I'm gonna pick up that block, make sure my paper is flat, and then I wanna make sure my paper stays put. Let's see if she can still stamp. Yes, she can. So then with some black memento ink, and I'm going to turn her around so I can see what I'm doing here, but I'm going to only ink the top half of her, and I turned my stamp stamparatus the wrong way. Let me turn it this way. There, so I can see that I only want to ink up her torus, or the torso, not torus, huh? Torus is what she would be. See, so I've only inked up the top part of her body. And this is where I think the Stamparatus helps because then if you put the ink on the paper and it's not exactly how you want it, you can fix it with a little bit more ink. But let's, oh, but she turned out just fine. So we're gonna leave her as is. Okay, so we're done with that. And now since we're gonna bring in the paper pumpkin, pumpkin stamp, which is photopolymer, I wanna bring in my piercing mat. Let me find a block, here's a clear block. And I'll set that up on the block here. And I'm going to use some lovely lipstick, which coordinates with the um, designer series paper. And also lovely stip lipstick is one of the end colors that is going out the end of May, beginning of June. So let's see, I've inked that up pretty good. I'm going to lay that down right there. And just hold it for a minute, let that ink sink in, make sure I apply pressure. Maybe rub the tummy a little bit. And let's see. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, let me put this away for now because I don't want to get my fingers in that lovely lipstick ink. I'm going to bring my chamois in here and clean my stamp. Oh, squeaky clean, huh? Okay. And then we're gonna take our stamp here and just turn it over like that. So then I'm gonna bring in some Blushing Bride and ink that up good. Let's see, that's pretty good. And then I'm gonna stamp right over that image again. And hold it, let the ink sink in, and looky there. Look how pretty her skirt is. Is that not what I, I thought that was so cute to use the tree as a skirt like that. So then I have a um, light flirty flamingo. Let me bring in a piece of um, scratch paper here. Here it is. With a light flirty flamingo blends. I like to use the blush tip, and I'm going to just give her shirt a light coat of that flirty flamingo. And the same with her hat. I'm not gonna use the blushing bride marker. I think I'm gonna just do the whole thing with the light flirty flamingo. There. Okay, so I'm gonna set her aside just to dry, although it won't take very long, and um, bring in a couple more pieces from the paper pumpkin. So I'm gonna bring in one of these 
tags here and I think this tag here. Again, I'm going to bring in my pierce mat. And here I have mounted Happy Birthday Gorgeous. So I'm going to stamp that on the bigger of the two in Lovely Lipstick again. This looks pretty good. Straight down and straight up. Hopefully I have it straight and in the center. Yep, that's pretty good. I'll take that. And then out of the same, and this is all out of the Beautiful You stamp set. I'm going to bring the Celebrate and stamp that. Now, this time I'm not going to stamp it in the center. I'm going to stamp it a little bit to the left. But I'm going to stamp that straight down, straight up. And I'm not happy. It's not very straight. Let me see if I can stick my head in the camera and see better. There, I think that's better already. There we go. I think that one's straight. Put those away. Okay, so bring this back in. And just with a little bit of adhesive, where am I? adhesive here, I'm going to put this down on my old olive cardstock. And then bring in the card base again. Move all this stuff out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So it's going to look like this. Now, I only want to put adhesive on this half of the um, square. So I'm even going to put my hands on this side so I know that's not where I want the square. And I'll bring in, or I'm sorry, where I want the glue. And I'm going to bring in some of the, <laughs> some liquid glue. And like I said, just put it on this half of that square. Okay, then when I lay this down, I'm going to take this square, corner here and this corner here and lay it along that score line. That way I know I have it straight and get it centered in there. That looks pretty good, yeah? Maybe about there. Now I'm, now I'm like, oh no, thank goodness I'm using liquid glue so I can move it around. Okay, and then just apply some pressure there. And now when you open your card, it opens this way, but it also folds this way cute right so now let's decorate her up oh and I should have no I'm gonna take this piece and I thought I should have cut it first I should have laid it on here first and cut it which is probably true but I just want to trim off this end here cooperate scissor try to put my scissor away and then I'm gonna just take a couple glue dots here one on the edge and one on this end and lay this down all the way to the edge here, just like that. Then also from the kit, I'm going to take this butterfly right here and that marker will work. I'm gonna just take and wrap him, roll him, I guess you'd say, around the marker a couple times. See how I do that? And that gives that butterfly just a little curve so he's not flat anymore. And then with the glue dot, oh, and I could have used the glue dots from the kit, huh? I guess I'm being lazy today. On the back of my butterfly. And I'm gonna put it right here on her skirt as a decoration. Now, then one more thing from the kit. I'm gonna take these little pearls that are in the kit. Maybe if I can get them open. Oh, there we go. I have my take a pick tool here and I'm gonna take this off and just decorate the skirt by placing a um, pearl here inside a few flowers. You know, and I wanna move this one. I want this one over here there that's better and this one I don't want there I want it there one more no I think I'm gonna let it go I think that's enough pearls there so then on the inside I'm gonna take my sentiment pop it up on some dimensionals oh and you know there's dimensionals in the kit there we go nice little ones 
and I'll put some dimensionals in the corners here. Peel those backings off. And then open the card and put that about in the center there. See now how cute is that? But then they can pop it up on their desk and have a card like that. Oh, you know, I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna take one more of these pretty little um, pearls. There we go. And just put it right there. Oh, in fact, it covers, there's a little smudge right there so I can cover my, my smudge of my ink. There, now very cute. Okay, so that's my, well, that really, that's Jessica. Thank you, Jessica, for sharing, because is that not the cutest card you've ever seen? Now, if you want to join Paper Pumpkin, you go to paperpumpkin.com. It's a monthly subscription that comes to your door, or you can order by the month at my online store at www.kathyhouse.stampinup.net. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Hope you had fun watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.